What happens if 10,000 nuclear bombs explode at once? Imagine this, the simultaneous explosion of 10,000 nuclear bombs. Would Earth shatter into pieces like a Hollywood disaster movie? Or is our planet tougher than we think? Let's break this down. For decades, people have debated whether the energy from nuclear explosions could obliterate Earth completely. It sounds dramatic, but how realistic is it? The power of nuclear bombs versus nature. The most powerful nuclear weapon ever built is the hydrogen bomb. Theoretically, it can unleash energy equivalent to 10 billion tons of TNT. That's mind-blowing for us, but not for Earth. Let's take the Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. Exploded by the Soviet Union in 1961, it packed the power of 50 million tons of TNT. For humans, this is apocalyptic. For Earth? Barely a scratch. To put it in perspective, natural disasters like massive earthquakes release energy far beyond what nuclear weapons can produce. The Earth has endured far more devastating events in its 4.57 billion year history without breaking a sweat. Could nuclear bombs wipe out life? Now, back to the big question. What happens if 10,000 nuclear bombs detonate at once? Their combined force would be unimaginable, causing massive destruction, fires, and nuclear fallout. The skies would darken with soot, plunging us into a nuclear winter. Crops would fail. Ecosystems would collapse, and humans, along with countless animal and plant species, could face extinction. But Earth itself? It would keep spinning. This planet has survived meteor strikes, supervolcano eruptions, and ice ages. Even if humanity and most life forms perish, Earth will eventually recover, as it always has. Einstein's perspective and the limits of destruction, Einstein once remarked on the immense energy contained within matter. But even with today's advanced technology, humans can only harness a fraction of that energy. Both nuclear fission, used in bombs, and nuclear fusion, used in hydrogen bombs, have limited energy conversion rates. To truly destroy Earth, we'd need something far beyond nuclear bombs, perhaps antimatter. Antimatter has the potential for 100% mass-to-energy conversion. However, it remains largely theoretical. We haven't found a way to create or contain enough antimatter to do anything significant. The real threat, ourselves, the truth is, 10,000 nuclear bombs won't destroy Earth. But they will destroy us. Our living environment would become uninhabitable. The planet will recover over time, but humanity might not. Earth has outlasted dinosaurs, mass extinctions, and asteroid impacts. It doesn't need us to survive. But if we're not careful, we might be the ones writing our own extinction story. So, let's not test the limits of destruction. The Earth will endure, but our future on it depends on the choices we make today. Like, share, and comment your thoughts. Can humanity learn to respect the power it wields before it's too late?